Here's how to play Hakate in Smite 2. Hakate is the goddess of sorcery, so naturally you're going to find her mainly played in the mid lane, although you sometimes find her played in the support. Hakate's passive is Mythic Ritual, and basically what it does is it allows you to interact with an allied structure to create a zone that just regenerates health and mana. Or, if an ally has recently slain a god, you can interact with them, give a buff to your strength and intelligence, and your ally's strength and intelligence. The first ability you want to unlock on Hakate is her triplicate form, which is her first ability. This ability does damage in a line, and it has two stances. One is the power form, which just does damage and marks enemy gods, and enemy gods that are marked will take more damage from allies. Her second form is hex form, and this deals damage and, mes and mesmerizes the enemy. Hakate switches back and forth between these stance, so when you use- so if you're in the power stance, you use the ability, you'll go to the hex stance, and vice versa. Your second ability is Spell Eater. When you use this ability, it throws a sigil up in the air that charges up for every time an, a god uses an ability in the area. You can reactivate the ability to call down, dealing damage. For every ability that is cast in there, increases the damage dealt. Her third ability is Repel Magic. You can grant a shield to either yourself or an ally that absorbs magical damage, and it also deals damage when casted onto an ally or yourself. Hakate's ultimate is open the gates. She spawns two portals that spawn and displace enemies to the opposite portal. This also deals a large amount of damage in the circle. Once the portal is placed, you and allies can interact with the portals to teleport between them. For a build on Hakate, I like to go Conduit Gem, Book of Thoth, Kronos Pendant, Spear of Desolation, Rod of Tahiti, Soul Reaver, and Dreamer's Idol. For a relic, I'd like to go Blink Rune, just because it's a fun relic to have and it helps because she doesn't have any true mobility, or you can't go wrong with Purification Beads. One thing to note with Kate, if you want to maximize her damage, you want to make sure you're always having your Spell Eater ability up while clearing waves, because you want to be charging that up to get max amount of damage. I hope you found this guide useful and that you play Hakate in your next match because she is one of my favorite mid laners right now.